SQL allows subqueries to be nested, and sometimes we need this to express certain queries. So let's have a look at an example where nested subqueries are necessary. Let's try to formulate the following query. We want the list of all students that have solved all homework assignments. First, we will start by formulating our query in more detail in natural language. We want all students S such that for all homework assignments X, there exists a solution of student S for X. Now, the for all cannot be expressed in SQL, so we have to reformulate this in not exists not. There does not exist a homework assignment X, and then we have to negate the body such that there does not exist a solution of S for X. Now we have a query that we can try to formulate in SQL. We have not exists and not exists. So we have nested not exists. When formulating such nested queries, it's often best to start with the inner query. So with the, in the inner query, you see that we want to have all the solutions of S for the assignment X. And then we want to see whether there exists a solution or not. We want to test for emptiness of this query. So let's say that we simply take an example student and an example homework assignment. So I would suggest that for the moment we're looking at George Orwell, so student 101, and we're looking at homework 1. So now we are formulating this inner query for George Orwell and homework 1. So we're first formulating a query that gives us all the homework 1 results for George Orwell. So, we are querying the results table. We're, uh, the where clause, we want to say that we want the result for George Orwell. So r.sit is 101. And we want the homework 1 result. So r.sit category is homework and r dot number is one and what do we select let's just select everything let's just select star okay so we first execute this query this gives us indeed the homework one result of george orwell next we want to build around this inner query the middle query. We want to have all those homework assignments for which George Orwell does not have a result. So we have an outer query that gives us the homework assignments. So we select something from the exercises table. So what do we want? First of all, we want that the category of the exercise is homework. And we want to check that George Orville does not have a result for this homework. So we write not exists and then comes our inner query. Now in this inner query, we still have hard-coded homework one. This we have to generalize now. We have to say here that we want to have a result that matches the exercise that we're looking at. So we will generalize this to 
e dot category and our number should match e dot number. Okay. Now what do we get? We are querying all homework exercises and we're selecting those for the output where there does not exist the result of George Orwell. As George Orwell has solved all the homework exercises, I would expect that the table should be empty. Let's see. Indeed, the query does not return a result. Let's have a look at another student. Student 102 has also solved all homework assignments. Student 103 has only solved one. So let's change this number to 103. So what would we expect? The student 103 has solved homework 1. So we would like to see that this query returns the homework 102 that does not have a solution. Indeed, we get the homework 102 that does not have a solution of student 103. Okay, so next we want to formulate the outer query. We want to say we want to have all students such that there does not exist an extra an homework exercise that does not have a solution. So we say select star from student S where where there does not exist an exercise, a homework exercise that does not have a solution. So we again have an inner query. And now, since we are querying over all the students, we again have to generalize the inner query. We have still hard-coded here the student 103. We should now make this dependent on the outer query. So we should have here student student.sit. Now, the inner query gives us all the results for the student for the exercise that we are looking at in the middle query. Now, the middle query selects all homework exercises for which there does not exist a solution from, from this given student. And the outer query selects all the students for which all homework exercises are solved, so there does not exist an exercise that does not have a solution. Okay, let's have a look what this gives us. We have made a mistake. Um, we have made a mistake in line 's our mistake ah I didn't close the bracket I think yes that must be it let's close this bracket and let's try again yeah now we get a list of students George Orwell and Elvis Presley and these are exactly the students that have solved all the homework assignments. On the slides we basically have the same solution that we've just derived ourselves. Let's have a look at the query on the slides. Does this query compute the students with the best result for homework 1? If not, what does it compute? I will throw it into the online system. So let's see what this query does. It gives us George Orwell and Elvis Presley. George Orwell has 10 points, Elvis Presley has 9 points, so clearly it does not compute the student with the best result for homework 1. But why do we get this output? What does this query do? We are querying the students table and we are querying the results table twice with tuple variables x and y respectively. We are saying that x should be a result for the current student that we are looking at. We are restricting both results x and y 
to home work one results. And we are saying that the result of x, the points of x, should be greater than the points of y. So basically, what this query does is, it says there should be results x and y for homework 1, such that x is a result of the student and y is a result with less points. So this query gives us all the students that have a homework 1 result that is greater than the result of some other student. Not all other students, not the best result, but greater than some other student. So it gives us all the students that do not have the worst homework one result. What goes wrong in this query? So this query should compute the students that have not solved homework one. Let's also throw this query in online. So this query should give us all the students that have not solved homework one. Let's see what the query does. It gives us no student. Okay, in the outer query, we query the students table with double variable s, and we select those students for which the inner query delivers no result. The inner query queries the results table and the students table, and we say that we only look at those results where the sit matches the sit of the student s. But here we already see the mistake, because this s here does not reference the s, the tuple variable s from the outer query, but it references the tuple variable s from the inner query. So SQL allows that we have local variable names that have the same name as, as, as tuple variables in the outer query, but then if we use this variable, then we will always reference the local variable and not the one in the outer query. So basically, this inner query is not correlated at all. There's no reference to the outer query. So our solution is that we should remove this part. So we should not query in the inner query the students table. We should not introduce a local variable s. And now our query will indeed return those students that have not solved homework one. Paul Simpson and George Washington. So using subqueries also brings up the concept of variable scoping and pitfalls that go along with it. Let's have a look at another query. We want to find all the students that have neither submitted any homework assignment nor have any result for an exam. So this is our attempt and the question is, what goes wrong in this query? So let's have a look what this query gives us. This query returns no results. So what goes on? In the outer query, we are querying the students table and we are selecting those students of which the sit does not appear in the subquery. We don't get any students back. That means the sit always appears in the subquery. How can that be? The subquery selects the sit from the exercises. Wait, the exercises do not contain a column sit at all. The exercises have a category, a number, a topic, and max points. There is no sit in exercises. That means this attribute sit here refers to the sit of the students, not to the exercises. So what we will get from this subquery is simply for every exercise, for every row in the exercises table, we get one row that simply contains the sit of the student. So then of course the sit appears if the exercises are not empty. So in order to fix this query, we should not query the exercises table, but we should query what we really want, the results. 
and now we get the correct answer.